here. Thank you. We turn tonight to the race for president in this deeply personal issue of IVF and what comes next for millions of women in this country. Tonight, Donald Trump says he supports IVF after widespread backlash after Alabama Supreme Court determined frozen embryos should be considered people. Tonight, the Biden campaign arguing this is because of Trump and his picks for the Supreme Court overturning Roe. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze in Alabama again tonight. Tonight, after public outcry, Alabama's Attorney General saying he has no intention of prosecuting IVF families or providers. But the state's biggest hospital, one of three major clinics stopping IVF, tells ABC it can't commit to restarting treatments until the state Supreme Court reconsiders its opinion that determined frozen embryos are people or until legislation is passed, leaving distraught families with no other choice but to wait. I mean, it's not luxury in here. Gabby Price and her husband downsized to this camper van to save money for IVF. Gabby taking a job just for its fertility benefits. Now, with so much uncertainty, they're looking to start IVF out of state. I'm terrified to have embryos here. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know what what sort of rights we're going to have over the embryos that we create. The state's Republican governor says she's now working on a solution with GOP lawmakers to protect IVF access, including a proposed bill clarifying an embryo is not a child until it's implanted in a woman's uterus. A uh, fertilizing uh, egg or embryo uh, has potential life. It's not actual life. <laughs> question now a flashpoint on the campaign trail tonight donald trump weighing in for the first time saying he supports ivf and he's calling on the alabama legislature to find a solution we want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies not harder the biden campaign accusing trump of trying to run away from his own record on abortion and ivf saying this would not have happened if Trump didn't appoint three Supreme Court justices who ultimately voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, something Trump has taken credit for. Those justices ruled to end Roe v. Wade. They ruled to end Roe v. Wade. Reproductive rights advocates and women relying on IVF had feared that the fall of Roe would open the door to states further restricting reproductive rights. They just were like, here's our opportunity to do something that we've been trying to do for quite a long time. David, on the eve of the South Carolina primary, both former President Trump and Nikki Haley are trying to show that they favor IVF, which has overwhelming public support. Vice President Kamala Harris tonight is calling Trump the architect of the IVF crisis here in Alabama. David. Elizabeth Schulze on this again tonight. Thank you, Elizabeth. We turn tonight.